Big Boys Big Neighborhood. Boy. We are after the show, January 22nd, 2018, after the show. All righty now. Let's see what's going down. Let's. Oh, yeah. All righty. We'll go with you first, I day. Go ahead now. Uh, over the weekend, Fredo Santana, he's a rapper from Chicago, passed away. You know, he'd been um, battling with this lean addiction, and he was very open yeah. about it. He was having kidney and liver failure, and um, he passed away. But something interesting is happening um, after that. DJ Mustard posted mm-hmm. this video of him just dumping out all his lean into the sink. And he doesn't really say, like, oh, this is why, but... Mm-hmm. It you right. can feel why it just happened it's to be the same day and he yeah. was like man f this yeah. Yeah. yeah and to be honest I feel like there's a lot of rappers that have been like kicking some type of drug to the curb mainly lean or pills or whatever uh-huh. it is and I it's really unfortunate that somebody's death has to be the reason why you kick your own addiction but right. but it's it's a good thing that people are starting to wake up and realizing like, you know, like this isn't something that is cool or that you should be doing to yourself. And what frustrates me more, I mean, I obviously, I'm not trying to judge whoever's doing drugs for whatever reasons you're doing them. To me, it's just very frustrating when there's so many people that are in the hospital or little kids that want to be healthy, that are fighting for their lives. And here you are, you're, you know, mm-hmm. essentially wasting your life. And but you know what? You, you, letting you, it go. you get that with, with everything for right. people that don't, Work out there's somebody that and I've heard this where they say, man, you know, I what I, what what I would do for those legs, mm-hmm. what I would do for you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And the right. one thing when when these things happen is a hell of tuition into the school of experience. Yes, it is. But we as human beings, everyone has this. It's not going to happen to me mm-hmm. attitude as well. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. So when I did see mustard pouring out his lean, I was like, okay, well you see that this could happen to you. Yes. You know what I'm saying. Like it could happen. So. It's horrible when we see things that that go down, but when somebody else pay a tuition into the school mm-hmm. of experience and you have to take heed to those kind of things, yeah. man, like excuse my my ignorance, but mm-hmm. how long would you say lean has been popular as a recreational drug? Like oh, man. a very long time, like. Cause I feel like now I know well, cats that been leaning for fifteen years. Really? See, I feel like oh this is something gosh. like now. This is the time where we're gonna see more and more Definitely people take it. Definitely in the it, last like, ten years. Yeah, like take it to a, a place where we start to see the repercussions of it. We start to see the effects of it because you know it was like smoking for a super long time. Society smoking was fine. Smoking was fine. People would be pregnant. They would smoke, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden they started to see the effects of it later on. What it can do to your body and 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 so forth. And so I feel like people still now smoke. we're. Yeah, no, well, but, yeah, yeah, people still but you know what it is, but too? it's very different when now. When cats get their lean on, too, yeah. it, it's you associated with a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes it's hard to break out of what you feel is a good time. Yeah, yeah that's But I feel true. like we're in, a, we're in a place where more we're seeing more and more people be affected by losing their life, yeah. that it is making a bigger impact of this isn't the best thing. To but, do. It, but, it, but it's a drug that's already out there, not over the counter, but prescription drug. So you have to yeah, but it, there's right? a lot of synthetics as well yeah, too now. But, but technically, a doctor would tell prescribe you why. It, yeah, well, if, yeah, if, yeah, if, if you do take it. too much of it, what well, can happen? And obviously, yeah. it can cause. But death. that's with any well, yeah. any drug that you get. You know, well, it's like vape, vape, prescribe or whatever. It's like vapes nowadays. Like we don't know what's going to happen. With it. That mm-hmm. that kind of drug is different because we're not sure what the what's going to go down in years from now yeah. or whatever the, the side effects and stuff like that. And vape is another thing that's you know is pretty much accepted. Yeah, and you know, and then you smell some of those vapes you like you see why more oh, youngsters yes. are vaping the because flavors. the things that's inviting yeah. man uh-huh. you know what i'm saying i can see how it can become addicting though because i was prescribed with what is it's coding right that's yeah. what, mm-hmm. what lean is um when i had my tonsils removed and i honestly i was just like yo like this it worked immediately for me and then when i found out how much these bottles were and i was trying to flip it i went back to my doctor and i was like ah, i'm not feeling too good i think i need some more i need some more coding he's like no, you don't. Right. So what are you bottom, telling us? You're the, about to start. Yeah. I was going to flip are, it. Are we on live right now? <laughs> yeah. I was, I was this thinking, was years ago, you guys. It was years ago. It was years ago. It was years ago. But but I can see like how I love how can... it started off with like, man, I thought I was going to be addicted. This. She was like, man, I can flip it. You know what I'm saying? Get somebody, get, get somebody I, I else the hard time. Thank God. Get somebody else the hard time. I don't have an addictive personality. Thank God. Because... I could see how you can. And, you know, I had an interesting conversation with a cousin of mine who was starting to pop Xanax. And and I asked him, I was like, can I just ask you, like, why were you doing that? Like, what were you even? He's like, honestly, he's like, I don't even know. He's Mm -hmm. like, I just tried one. He's like, and I liked how it made me feel. I was like, what did you feel? He's like, to tell you the truth, 
nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it would just make me sleepy all the time. And I was like, yo. And I don't think that there's a lot of people that wake up on any given day and say, you know what, man? I want to be addicted to drugs. Yeah. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, no. You know, I want to, I want to. You know, not get my job done. I want to steal from my family. I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to lose my kid. Whatever it may be, whatever drug it is, you know, and that's why we say you're addicted to it. It, It's something that is so powerful over you, you Mm -hmm. know? So now when you see, we've accepted a whole lot of things in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? That's true. We we never accepted crack, but we we accepted crack dealing. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Popping bottles, weed, you mm-hmm. know, and everything. Some cats ripping lines, whatever it may be. And this is just another thing that has been accepted. But now you see people saying, you know what, man? I'm going to back off a Yeah, bit. and now one, one thing that we do have also neighborhood is that we have social media. Yep. Yeah. Where somebody can immediately pour their bottle out like mustard and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people can see that. Yes. Yeah. And if it's just one, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? If, if mm-hmm. And people say, oh, if I just say one, but if it's just one, then you saved one person's exactly. life. One person's life. I think the, la- the first time I actually heard it, Lee, was uh, I think 3-6 Mafia, like a long yeah, time see ago. See what I'm saying? And and little was, Wayne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, that, and, and that's I was a- just like, damn, what is it? I didn't, I never understood it, what it was, mm-hmm. but I, I always knew it was in two cups. Yeah. For some reason, they double cup it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, man, it's, so. it's it's been there. Mm. Best huh. believe that. All righty now, uh, Natalia. Speaking of drugs. Yeah, go ahead. Now. <laughs> so there was a uh, little kid in Albuquerque, and I guess um, he wanted to be nice and share his food, his like candy, mm-hmm. with his friends. Your at teacher school. always told you. You have to make sure that you have it for the whole class. Exactly. If you can't share it with the whole class, you can't have it. Yep. Well, he had Did some you bring gummies for the class. And he shared it with his friends. Like gummy bears or like just gummy, bears. gummy worms? Gummy bears. Okay. Yeah, got little gummy bears. Okay. And uh turns out they were weed lace gummy bears, guys. Mm-hmm. And he had no idea <laughs> the point. Pass little edibles out to the <laughs> friends. You know, <laughs> there you go. These like five nine-year-olds were just tripping out. Oh, man. Out that must be so the, horrible. That I feel so bad for these kids. Oh, my wow. gosh. I can't and, feel my heart. Like, they, no. Oh, they, that they, must they have been really, be really bad out. for them. Because edibles can be really, yeah. really strong. Edibles are bad for adults. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm same for a exactly. seven and a nine year old, like especially when you don't know what your trip is. They must have been so like scared. Like one of my cats, he had Damn. some edible, um, the little fish crackers, the goldfish. Oh man! And he was like, "Big, you need to just try." And I was like, "Man," and he was like, "Man, usually somebody that takes such and such." He was like, "But with you, you so sensitive. You probably should take two or three. I like, man, I ain't taking none of that. Two or nah, my nah. goodness, yeah, wow. just two little. Cra- I was like, man, I'm cool. I accidentally smoked weed one time. All right, Bill wow. Clinton. Okay. <laughs> but, but you didn't wow. inhale, right? Okay, Ooh. let me Are ask you this. Or let or me or ask you this. Lies, what did like, you put even. to your mouth thinking it was? I thought it was a, like a black and mild because okay. it was, I guess it was a, we all know, I don't know a lot about weed. It was blind, like I guess, yeah, yeah. would that be considered with the brown, like I'm the brown innocent rapping? over here. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't want to get the wrong out. name. I thought it was a black and mild because I thought it was cool at that time. I'm like, oh, let me smoke a black and mild. And I had never been around weed a lot, so I didn't huh. really know what it smelled like. I didn't know that like hey, certain dude, things look like different. It's like all of us here are calling bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, which, which I, 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 you know, I, I know you and I feel it, but <laughs> even Monica, yeah, she done took us off of uh, Facebook she Live. Was like, yeah, she uh, don't stop. I'm like, not. I'm not even kidding you. My friends still make fun of me till this day because they don't. They're like, "How did you like not know?" But like this. Group so you of thought friends, you were just smoking like? I some, thought. I, yeah, I thought I was just taking a black and mild, and then someone was like, "What are you doing?" You know what a black and mild smells like. So if it, if you puff it out. I was. Like, we're okay, talking about okay, innocence okay, and naivete. Look, okay, we're not okay, talking look. about like yesterday. How, How many puffs did ha- you take? Just one. It was real quick. It was a little group of friends, and so they didn't realize that I didn't smoke weed, and so they had passed it to me, and I. Like, asked the person next to me. I was like, what is this? And they went, oh, it's tobacco. But they were joking, like, sarcastically. But ah. I didn't pick up on the sarcasm mm-hmm. because I was a little tipsy. It? I didn't really know what we had smelled like. Like, uh, it was just. And it had no cocaine in it. Ah. <laughs> it wasn't. It, 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 it wasn't know. dip. Was it like, yeah, I only smoked some PCP it one time. It wasn't was it? something yeah. that it I was like, laced? No. I don't. Really? She don't want to know. Laced with like with lace PCP with, with some yeah. other type of drug. Oh, like, hey man, we bullshit. got a zero tolerance. No, <laughs> Look, all I'm saying yesterday. is, they, I, w- I had already had one drink. Natalia is explaining to us on after the show how when, she accidentally smoked weed. When wow. people tell me things, I believe them, and so I took a quick puff, oh and then my gosh. friend next to me said, "What are you doing?" The other friend on the other side said, "What right. are you doing?" And I said, "Nothing." And they're like, "You know that's weed, right?" And I was like, "What? No, what?" Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I Alrighty. accidentally got yeah. it. Yeah. I thought it was tobacco because was they told me it was tobacco. Right. All right. Alrighty, All right. well. What story? 
Yeah, it was. <laughs> All right. Why would I even want to lie about a dumb story like I don't that? Know. That makes Tell me look us stupid. Why. I, don't know what that's <laughs> I believe you. Right. Thank you. I, no, I believe you. Do. I believe you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was I'm really naive, and I believe when people say things. Like sometimes it's hard. Like the you'll color joke, green didn't like give it away. T- like, hey, why is it green? It was <laughs> dark outside, bro. It was like a nighttime yeah. party. I'm oh, not okay. looking. They didn't at give this. it away when they say, "Hey, you want to smoke this blunt full of weed, <laughs> Natalia?" That, that, no. that, that wasn't a giveaway. No, it smelled like uh, skunk in there. Yeah, no. you know what I'm saying. We were outside. What are you guys smoking? What is this? <laughs> what is this weird smelling thing? Yeah. So you were cool if it was tobacco, though, huh? Yeah. Go ahead now. Thought All right, cool. now, Louis G. Yo, man, the Patriots once again in the yeah, Super Bowl. Man. Oh, hold on, this is after the show, January 22nd, 2018. I don't want anybody to think we're running old audio. We <laughs> exactly. say the Patriots again. You, you know. know what? Uh, you know, America wanted this. NFL have wanted seat, this. Doc, for please, sure, join man. Us. They wanted Brady back over there again. I don't, I don't, I don't think it would have been a, as exciting if it would have been the Jaguars and, and the Eagles. Man. Just you know what? I'll agree. I agree. So agree it's it's going to be exciting now. Why? Yeah. More talks now everybody's still going to go for the underdogs and they want Philly to win. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Let's go, Eagles. Like, I want to see that. I want to see them win with that backup quarterback now and just their great defense, man. Like, Especially you, after you, everybody made fun of them when Carson Wentz went down. Yeah, man. That was their mm. play. They one hell of a Do you think it's going to happen? I think it is. Eagles are going to take they, it. Okay, the thing with the Patriots, you obviously got to play till the I very end. I thought the Jaguars end. was going to happen. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, you got to play all yep. the way. You said it, till the very yep. end, bro. Like, that's it. Like, they were up so much, they could have, like, well, even for uh, against Minnesota, like the Eagles, like, they were up so much, they literally took a knee, like, with, like, four minutes left. Mm-hmm. Like, we'll just run and the, he was like, stand up, we're not singing the national anthem. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, that was crazy. What are you doing over here? But I think, I think they, it's the coaching, man. Belichick, man, with the Patriots, I think it, it's the key right there. I know they got a dope-ass quarterback with Brady, but... <sighs> It's that coaching, man. man. Once, once, goat, once they Say figure you out, like, that dude is the goat. Man. Right bet against him, Brady. Oh man, yeah. Doc, what do you think about so the uh, the? Refs? I was, re- I was waiting him? for the L though, too, though, Doc. Tell oh, you yeah, the truth, I, I was like, yeah. I could take it either way. Like I said, I don't have a horse in the race, but mm-hmm. I was really like, damn, come on, man. Again? And I was at this brunch, and they had it on, and everybody was screaming. Oh, I yeah. bet. Cats in there with the jerseys on and everything. I'm like, but you knew he was going to do it though, because he's done it like yeah, yeah. He's clutch. You know what I'm saying? He's clutch. You don't have him in there for no other reason than to play and mm-hmm. the expectations. You know what I'm saying? Like, there were times when yeah, you man. see a ball player, you're like, oh, man, you shoot out the coach. Oh, yeah, Kobe did it. We expected yeah. that. And mm-hmm. even going in with the whole his thumb, how's his thumb working? Because he said he uh, da- he heard it during practice uh-huh. or something like that. So that whole thing. And to the haters, did you see his after his speech? No. They're like, yeah, my sore thumb, you take it, shove it up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said, man. I, I was like, he said. man. And then they lost their number one pass, like th- his number one target, which is Gronk. Mm-hmm. They lost Gronk's him for the whole again? game. Yeah, they got him off. Of, uh, he uh, it was He's under for a concussion. Injured. But now it's like, and they he, still won. He can't be out with a concussion. <laughs> 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 Sorry, put that. him back in there. It up, man. <laughs> you know what's the worst part, man, is when they win without you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because and not that you want the team to lose, but I'm gonna tell you, if I walked out of here right now, right, mm-hmm. I want this station to go down. No disrespect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No disrespect. <laughs> But if I walked out of here right now, I'm monitoring. You know what I'm saying? In the last three years, I never paid attention to ratings so much in my life until I made a move. You know what I'm saying? So if I got up and I left right now, I'd be like, hey, what's going on? I'd be like, what? You love, like, hey, you love us more now than your old than your old flame, right? Say what now? You, you love us more now, right? Don't, this, don't put me in that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Come on, man. Of course I, I do. put him on the ref. What am I going to say? Bob <laughs> Pippen's name is on my check. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course I do. You know oh, what I'm oh saying? Gosh, but, but yeah, that, that's a whole mm. different level of twist, man. And we're going to have a... Uh, a Super Bowl party too that I am mm-hmm. throwing and yep. everyone's invited. We go really? do it at Doc's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, Doc? Come through. Yeah, oh, man. Hey, and Doc, get yes. with your brother now, man, so he can order in yes. his special yes. ribs. You know what I'm saying? So, right and don't put him in the oven and burn him again. Shut up. Right? I That's think I think I, they did it. I think she no, did. No, I didn't. Yeah. Somebody did it, Doc. No it one, no me. one owned up to it. No huh? one ever. I wasn't even there when it happened. We had like a staff party, man, and Doc, we he he rented this home and everybody was swimming and his brother makes a you know makes ribs and he had them sent from what city and state raleigh north carolina raleigh north carolina to california and these ribs man somebody must have stuck them in the oven with good looking out to reheat them which is crazy anyway because you're (laughs) already cooked you got to be careful on your reheat as well And man, by the time we found them, <laughs> they were Cajun charcoal. It looked like mesquite. Yeah, it, it, looked like fire, it looked like fire. It looked like fireplace. I still try to eat it. Yeah, too. Doc, Doc tried. He picked up the bone and it just crumbled like a cartoon. <laughs> 
I'm all just horrible. like, man, and no one has ever come up to Doc and say, hey, Doc, my bad. Come on, I did. I, I think know. it was you. No, I think it was you. No, it Seriously, wasn't me. I was nobody there. Yeah, no one. I, think I left like early. You remember the people that we rented the house from, how they were upstairs? They I were left kind early. of like watching us because they didn't want us to mess up the house. You remember uh, those people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was one of them. You think it was one of them? Mm-hmm. Looked out? I would have owned up to it, dog. I would have owned up to it, like, hey, And the main, main thing about it, the reason why I would have owned up to it, or the, and the same reason why I think it was you, <laughs> I think it was, was because you didn't get upset. What was it again? Like, my about? brother li- literally it. stays probably 20 miles from me. If he sent me something from 20 miles and somebody messes, I'd be like, man, what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you that'd know? be pretty mad. Because it, was, it wasn't like it was like five. Yeah, it was, it was, like it was a tray. Man. Tray of them. And they all burnt, man. Oh. It wasn't going to make them uh, less burnt, man. All righty. Well, we got to wrap it up, Doc. Yeah. You don't know what wrapping it up. We got to move on, Doc. <laughs> Good Lord have mercy, man. Don't you have a meeting with somebody to fire? Don't you have somebody to take it to your office and make feel bad right now? Exactly. Doc put his fist up, too, when Jason did it. Yeah. Jason put the let's wrap it up fish. <laughs> Doc put the black power up. Let's <laughs> start the movement. You know right? <laughs> yeah, Where pretty much. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with us after the show. Doc is like, man, if I can get this on the air, big. If I can get this. All righty. Thank you guys for hanging out with us after the show, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. All things Big Boys yeah. Neighborhood is right there for you at RadioBigBoy.com. Big Boys Neighborhood, Big Boy. we are gone.